Welcome to Mo Health Media. My name is Guy Danhoff, and today I actually have a very special public service announcement that I'd like to make. And it's going to be dealing with a, a issue that is in continuing to increase, and that is on the topic of cyber bullying as well as cyber harassment. And again, my name is Guy Danoff, and I'm here today to go through some of the stats that just came out as we're starting to see more trending going on in this area. And so one of the areas that I want to lead with is, first of all, getting a better idea, what is cyber bullying and what is cyber harassment? So let's start right now with the definition. As we can see that cyber bullying is any type of harassing, threatening, demeaning language, or it could simply be embarrassing another person online. And again, when we look at the 2021 data, looking back at 2020, we're starting to see some trends that uh, are starting to continue to increase, increase. As we know, there are more people on social media channels than ever before to the tune worldwide. More than 50% of the adult population are now using social media platforms. So with that, the question that a lot of folks ask is what is the most common type of online bullying? And it's just this simple. It's saying mean things and making mean comments to other people. Now, this could be, again, in the form of multiple platforms. It could be through direct messaging. Certainly can be uh, in posts, response, replies, those kind of things. But right now, this is what's leading the way. And then an interesting statistic is that 61% of teens who report being bullied say it was because of their appearance. Now, while this topic is nothing new, again, it's something that we want to pay more close attention to as this number continues to rise from previous numbers. Another thing that gets asked is what platform do you see this more often? Well, again, according to the 2021 January data, we're seeing that as Facebook is the leader where 56% of online harassment, the victims have said it's occurred on Facebook. And so with that being said, it's just really important to really understand uh, what this data is trying to tell us. And here's the big one for everyone. And that is, it's to me somewhat shocking that seven in 10 young people today experience some form of cyber bullying or cyber harassment before they even hit the age of 18. And this is why Missouri Healthy Schools, along with some of our partners, that we're going to be creating a awareness campaign this month and throughout the rest of the year, as well as some other things that will be coming up that I'll make an announcement on in just a second. And so for those of you that are on Twitter, something that's more of a recent trend, when I say recent, basically in the like last six months, again, you know, looking at what Twitter's done, there's a way to report abuse on Twitter today. And I want to make everyone aware of that. So if there is any kind of abuse going on, you have the ability, if you have a Twitter handle, to go on directly to Twitter and now report that kind of abusive behavior without Twitter identifying who you are to that other person. So that's kind of a big public service announcement that we wanted to make you aware of as we move forward in 2021. And then lastly, please stay uh, tuned for upcoming uh, town hall meeting announcement. I know that we're going to be putting together some great resources, some great speakers, some experts, and, and it's just going to be a time where we can really dive deeper into these topics, look at the trends, look at the data, and most importantly, look at ways that we can come up with better solutions and certainly better resources to help fight this battle. So with that, I want to thank you for watching this special edition broadcast here on Mo Health Media.